In this project, I'm using a couple of old hardwood pallets, some sort of eucalypt, um, breaking them down, and uh, yeah, these were from other projects I'd previously done. I then took it over to the jointer and skimmed the face uh, to see what may reveal, and it's always nice to do that. Uh, next process was to put this on my uh, straight edge sort of squaring up jig, and uh, I ran it through, and then I flipped it over and uh, made both ends, made both sides parallel to each other. I then ran them through my thicknesser to no particular size um, at all, but just to clean up all the faces. And then I laid them out. And um, this was going to hold a couple of uh, tomato sauce, maybe mustard holders and I just measured out roughly where I wanted to position these. I then cut them to size, uh, cleaned up and squared up both ends and then I went to marking the centres of where these holders were going to be positioned. One small problem I did encounter was that I didn't have a, a forstner bit that was um, big enough to drill these out, so I did use a hole saw. Uh, this was a little bit too big, but uh, I wanted a snug fit but didn't get it, but it still turned out well. Uh, went over to the router and put a round over and uh, just eliminated any sharp edges that may have been still present. Cut out all the legs, uh, these were cut on 35 degree angles and then I went about making with the cut out measurements I had taken a uh, little jig here so I could in the future perhaps make a production run of these. I did put a piece of uh, straight flat timber on the edge and I used that as a reference point. Um, I used glue here and also brad nails. Uh, this being typically uh, the first time I'd made this as a bit of a prototype sort of effort. Um, in the future I'd, I'd find another means of uh, perhaps just using glue only but um, for this uh, little project uh, it tended to work and as I said wasn't too bad the to fit. Next part was just to clamp the rest of it down and wait for the glue to dry. The next step was to make this uh, salt and pepper holder. So this makes up the rest of the uh, condiments sort of accessory holders. Um, just lining it up here and roughly marking out where the holes are going to be drilled then just cutting it down the size and having a little bit of a look to see how things do marry up. Now I'm just going to uh, get a bit of a measurement for the height and I'll measure according to the uh, size of the stock uh, the legs out and it's pretty close here. Next I'm just marking out a small V uh, and then taking it to the bandsaw and cutting that out. Uh, 
To get rid of the sharp edges, corners, uh, I've set up the router with a round over, so this is always pretty good. Uh, I'm just centre punching now, getting ready to drill out the centre of the uh, cavity here where the uh, actual holders are going to sit. The fine sand here is sufficient for this timber. Um, I'm doing a line up here. Another way you could do this is you could cut out a bit of a, a, a dado or a groove, whatever you want to call it, and that would be a more sufficient fit. But just for this being the prototype I'm making, uh, I just want to see how it all looks before I actually, you know, get the stock sizes all correct, and then uh, then I will do the added uh, dados and that. So. For this first build, I think glue will be sufficient. And for the finish, I used a water base, a Minwax water based uh, semi gloss and uh, several coats with a little bit of light sanding in between, and it came up pretty good. Given that this was pallet wood uh, destined for the, the waste pile, I, I think it's handy using these type of items just to make little things like this up and um, cost nothing to do it. So there you go guys, a couple of little condiment holders. Uh, you can use these inside in the home or uh, use them when you're having your barbecue. And uh, they're a great little accessory to have and it does make it a little bit of a feature. You know, people look at it and go, wow, that's a little bit different. So if this is the first time you've uh, viewed Sumo's projects, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, also like and uh, perhaps share the video around. So thank you very much for tuning in and uh, till the next time, have a bit of fun, make a few things and uh, enjoy what you do. Hooroo.